Hey, stop scrolling. So we've talked about remote jobs, the skills that you need to acquire your first remote jobs, but we've not pretty much talked about how you can acquire those kind of skills. All right. So today, let's talk about how you can acquire the skills that you need to land your first remote job. If you're ready, let's get on with it. As I said earlier, we've talked about digital skills. We've talked about the various um, skills that you need to have to be able to uh, become useful in the digital space. All right. So today, let's look at how you can um, acquire those kind of skills or where you can acquire those kind of digital skills. We will tackle this particular video in two fronts. All right. We talk about self-teaching or what we call self-taught. All right. And we also look at um, digital courses that you can do. Uh, sometimes we'll get to certification some won't get you but if you pay for it they are going to give you certificates aside the fact that you're also going to earn invaluable skills that you're going to um, help yourself with all right so first of all let's look at the self-taught skill or the skills that pretty much you can teach yourself all right so one of the ways to acquire those kind of skills are from youtube all right um we're talking about skills like um, cyber security you are talking about uh, data analytics you're talking about uh, data science you're talking about uh, pretty much all the technical courses around can be self-taught all right if you want to uh, learn software engineering you can just get so many courses you can even do full-time course on youtube free course download free tutorials on youtube and watch the video pretty much after you've watched the video and you have done enough practice there are so many tutorials or practical tutorials that you can also get yourself uh to practice with all right real-time data in terms of data analytics and data science or when it comes to software engineering before i did my first data analysis course course i i mean pretty much taught myself how to do data analytics or data analysis all right i got some videos on youtube uh, did a lot of practice i mean got into some various free data i can practice with online free data resources out there that you can download and practice i mean hands-on training uh, by yourself all right i did that and when i felt confident enough i took that class or i took that data course all right and got the certificate for it so i think the first thing that you shouldn't do is after you have identified your interest you have identified what pretty much you want to do in terms of uh, when it comes to acquiring a skill the next thing you would want to do is to learn all right to teach yourself i mean get a video of that particular skill that you want to acquire if, you, if about if it's about digital marketing you can get a lot of videos on youtube about data marketing if, you, if it's about data science you can get a lot of videos if it's about data analysis cyber security software engineering i mean we are talking about a world where you can pretty much teach yourself to do anything without any help all right if actually you are fully committed and you are open-minded to getting those kind of um skill all right so that is the first part the second part as i also said earlier is to acquire a dicta certificate all right to enroll in the dicta certificate course all right so some of the courses you can get from udemy you can also get from um coursera which is my favorite you can get it as low as 200 cities a month all right sometimes it goes a little bit higher sometimes it's like 40 dollars a month but the most part for Africans, they normally will give it to us for 200 CDs or let's say $20 or $25 or sometimes even less. All right. So you can just enroll. You can go to udemy.com or you can go to coursera.com. All right. There are a lot of courses. If it's about data science, you type data science. If it's about uh, data analytics, you can uh type that if it's about software engineering i mean so many practical professional courses that you can do and when you complete the course successfully they will give you a certificate to prove that you have that particular skill and one beautiful thing about doing professional course or having a professional data certificate is it's basically um not only proof of certificates it's also a proof there is also a proof of skill all right so you would acquire real skill that you can show to potential employers or recruiters that hey i don't just only have these certificates but but i also have the skill to bag it up all right for example when i was doing my data analysis i i did a lot of examination what we call the capstone and after i put them all together and then i use it as a uh, past part of my resume or added it as part of my portfolio right i sent it to github all right just did it beautifully and i sent it to github and google drive so whenever i want to talk to any potential employer or recruiter or i want to get any job i just don't only send a certificate all right i also sent a github that you can find the real work that i've done that you can find real cases that i've solved pretty much that you can find a portfolio right 
not just that i'm saying i can do this or saying some kind of random certificate to prove that i can do this but actually there's a portfolio and there's also a proof of skill to back it up all right and that is what i think you guys should look up to all right so or you should look out for all right it's not always about just going to school and doing your degree and at the end of the day you don't have any skill you don't have any portfolio you only have the certificate and you are being bombarded you know we've all been to the institution before and you see that we get bombarded by some kind of irrelevant stuffs apart from what we really want to measure in all right so by the time you are done pretty much so many things that we've learned might have evaporated from our head all right so it's very important that um taking this kind of uh professional courses all right especially in my case dicta professional courses will help you a lot not only with the certificates to also attach to your degree or your diploma or your masters or whatever but also give you some kind of leverage in terms of a uh, proof of skill all right in terms of portfolio i mean you are working with, I, I remember i anal i did a lot of analysis on even space, space x i did some on google i did some on top top companies all right i did some beautiful uh, analysis on them visualization and presentations on them all right and i have all this on my github so if anyone want to just employ me i just send them along my certificates all right uh for them to look at it all right so that's very important thing that i want to share with you today uh, all right um in case you want to enroll in a dicta professional course on udemy or coursera um just feel free to dm me on um this app or you can even dm me on whatsapp i can help you through i can help you get a course cheaper all right pretty much not for free but you can get it so much cheap all right and it's worth it i always say that what you value is what you spend on so i pretty much doubt if anyone tells me that i don't have anything to invest in what i value no that doesn't make sense you are spending money in terms of data to watch this particular video because pretty much you find some kind of a value in this video you might have well could have scrolled over this video right to get to another content that pretty much may suit you so what i'm trying to say is whatever you spend time on you kind of invest in it and whatever you think is valuable that's what you also invest whether your time or your money into i hope i'm making some sense all right so guys so guys thanks for watching this video i hope this video was helpful and um it's really so guys thanks for watching this video i hope this video is helpful and i hope that you have learned something valuable from this video and i'll see you in this video bye